mixer for a long time. And he actually came across this. Motor and all, $50. So that's pretty good. We set it up here to give it a little test. And we'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Well, the reason it was so loud is they threw a bunch of rocks in there. The guy he got it from had loaned it to a buddy and of course, it wasn't washed out really good, so he used his power chisel on uh, on air and got all that buildup out of there. So he just let it run for a while to kind of clean that up. So that's a pretty good, neat trick. So if you've watched the channel before with any regularity, you've seen this shop before. I had this all cleaned out. I had a corner full of furniture that I had to paint. And it's time to start doing square bales. Well, he started rearranging and moving cows. And this trough never got filled in because nobody wanted to start mixing them by hand. And I had to go do work elsewhere. So we're back to where we started 10 years ago with lumber in this pile. We'll chuck it out. And we're going to start mixing concrete to fill in this trough. We've already done it with sand. We'll clean up the leaves and the chaff that have blown in here. But we've already been loaded up with this for months, and we can bring it right in here. It's just great that somebody had added that motor to it, because we've always done this either in a little mixing pan like this, one bag at a time, which isn't too bad, or a wheelbarrow, but it'll go a lot, a lot better. So this is just the Menard's basic concrete mix. It says it's pre-blended general pur purpose um, for anything more than two inches thick. If you went less, it would probably just crack, get kind of hollowish. And we want to tamper down this sand and get it so that there's not any you know, irregularities that way. And then we've got all of our flat work tools. So we'll just make it nice and smooth, cover it, and then there will be no more ankle troubles. By ankle troubles, I mean me falling in the trough. We filled this full of hay last year, and it goes about six or seven bales high. And after climbing down, I found that my kids were raking in the chaff that I had filled in that little channel with. And, of course, I stepped wrong, twisted my ankle, cracked it, whatever. It's still not right. So we don't want to have any repeats of that again. So as you can see, it's a lot quieter when it's not being cleaned out with rocks. Definitely better. Four pints, which is half a gallon. And we'll see if it's enough. Mixing it by hand, I think I was putting a little more in. So he's thinking of doing this a bag at a time. I'm sure we could put in several bags at once. It's he's figuring a half a gallon of water. So he's just brought out a milk jug so we can kind of measure it that way. You don't want it too soupy. It'll be weak and crack. The thing he liked about this Menard's concrete is that it had a lot more big rock gravel pieces in it to help bond and hold it together for strength. We bought other brands at the same time from another store. What was it? Quick Reet. The Quick Reet. Quick Reet brand. You can go back and watch the video where we did uh, section in the barn by the cow pen. It was all fine powder. It was more like mortar. So they're going to go ahead and add another bag.
Oops. So Murdoch is forever the Red Rover being chosen to do jobs. He cleaned this up all real nice while I was off doing another job. And he got all the chaff brushed away from the edges. Of course, the wind blows through here and it filled it back in. Dad wanted about four inches of space for the concrete to fill in. And then he filled in the other end uh, with a board to form an end where like on here it just slopes, runs out. So this is going to all get filled in. And this is getting done because we can fill this back in with square bales for winter um, hay sales. We've been mostly doing round bales this year. And that's what you see behind us uh, here at the mixer. So the round bales are getting wrapped and stored outside. And he just happened to find this. This job has been sitting here waiting for a day. We are supposed to be in three days of rain and it didn't happen um, today. It happened in the middle of the night. So we're being able to work on this because we stuck around to do this job anyway. It looks dry. So we started out with 26 bags of concrete. We're already down to 13. So let me show you what it looks like mixed up. Now we're not professional concrete workers. This is farmers doing stuff on your own. The mixer's doing okay of a job. He figured that if he turned it over a different way, the more we use it, the better it's getting just because being dry. So what Murdoch's doing here is you kind of tap it and it works the water up to the top. So like that gravel starts disappearing. And we've got several size floats. These are all for doing flat work. This is basically a two by four or well, a one by two with a handle on it. So he's using that to kind of make it level. His dad wants him to learn things, doing it well. So they just bring in with a wheelbarrow, dump it in here and we spread it out where we need it. He's getting a good practice at this. He's 14. This is his first concrete job. And this is how his dad learned how to do it. Just a little job that, you know, nothing of great importance as far as appearance, but it's in great um, need to be done and of great importance to his family's health because no one else is going to fall in it and get hurt. I'd say it's going pretty good overall for just a mom and her kid who haven't been experienced or trained in the artistry of concrete flat work. I've watched a bit. I'm always there when he does jobs. It's like the cream is rising to the top. I just kind of shake it. And then they're out there mixing it. Trey finished some mowing and now he's helping. I'm just kind of pre-working it here for Murdoch. And he's following up behind me with the long level uh, flat trowel. He's got a longer one, but he's got a good eye for it. And he is real patient about working that water up to the top. There was a former post here, so I just kind of blended it down to where it was broken so it wouldn't be a super step, you know, it's like on an angle and everything. So good, buddy. Look at that. And he's just working that water sideways. You gonna put your initials in it, Murdoch? Yeah. Yeah? You don't mind doing that? Put the year in it and the, the date. Your, your initials. There's a mark somewhere over there and I think it said like 1819 well here's our just about finished concrete we got a rain we ran short so we went back to the store and bought eight more bags we actually needed maybe three more bags to finish the job but he wasn't liking the way this curved off and then there was a chunk missing here 
So for tripping and falling hazards, he's going to blend this down here and do a little patch in this spot here. We always buy a few more bags than we think we're going to need because for, you know, three and a half dollars, three dollars and seventy cents, it's better to have it on hand than have to drive all over town to get it. So overall, this was a very successful day. It is Sunday today. We're planning on being able to cut hay on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we will be able to put hay in here in the barn and store it from one end to the other with no problems ever again. So I'm super happy for that. And if you're happy about this video, hit the thumbs up. That's a like for us in the channel. It really helps with the whole metadata things with YouTube. It lets other people know that you like the videos and then they share it out with other people. You can also hit share this video so that you can send it to your friends. It copies a little link um, like on your clipboard and you can send it in an email or text to a friend. We appreciate you always doing that. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So the kids were all busy in edit. People had to come and put their names in it. Mom, Murdoch, I think Jack did. Murdoch didn't like that the little kids made such a mess, so he redid it. You can see, if you don't work it, you get little rough bits of gravel up at the top instead of that water rising to the top. He had gone back over right here where they uh, put their names in. So overall, it's pretty good. It's very barn worthy. And as you can see, as he went, it just got better and smoother. So you can see a slight difference. They added a little more water in this section. And as it dries, that color just changes. So eventually, it'll all be exactly the same color, I would assume. It is two days ago we did this, I think. And in our final thing, we went back. We had some spare uh, bags on hand. So we went ahead and patched a little section here where it was separating from this old uh, pour here and where we had frost heave here we went ahead and patched that in too so that nobody's got any trip and fall issues but it's real real good.